Hey lovely people, so this is your master DJ Harsh Priyam, I'm again here with a beautiful problem and that problem says ki a cube plus a square is equals to 36, so find the value of a. Now here I have just written find the value of a, although in the original examination there had be, have been multiple conditions on a, that sometimes they can give you that okay a is positive, sometimes they can give you that a is, a, is integer only, so it depends, we should learn the method how to solve it and then based on these conditions we can obviously find the answers, okay, so let's get started. Now we have got a cube plus a square equals to 36. Okay, so so this is a pure cubic equation. So I can just send this to the side and we will get a cube plus a square minus 36. And for solving the cubic equation, we all know the easiest and the best method is to do the hit and trial method. So here what hit and trial can be do obviously a equals to one won't satisfy a equals to two. So two cube is eight plus four 12 no three. 3 cube is 27, 3 square is 9, 27 plus 9 is 36, yeah, that is satisfying, oh wow. So we have got a hit and trial very easily, a equals to 3. This means a minus 3 is going to be the factor. So if a minus 3 is going to be the factor, we have to divide this a minus 3 and we have to divide this a cube plus a square minus 36. So you know the method, you know the basic drill. You'll take the first term, you'll take the first term, a cube upon a, you will get a square. So you have got a square, a square into a, a cube then minus 3a square, then a square again. So changing the signs, so this plus will change to minus, minus will change to plus, because that is how we do it. So whenever we subtract this lower portion, we do a minus in multiplication, so minus in multiplication does only this. It changes the sign, it reverses the sign. So we have got this a cube, a cube got cancelled, a square and then plus 3a square. We'll get 4a square and then a minus 36 from here will come down. Again the first term in the rough, 4a square divided with a, we get a 4a. So this is plus 4a, 4a gets multiplied with 4a, so we get 4a square and then 4a multiplied with minus 3. So that's a minus 12a. Cool. Now again, reversing the sign minus and this minus will become plus. So they get cancelled. Now you have got a plus 12a, so you have got a plus 12a and then you have got a minus 36, minus 36. So again, you have to take the first term in the rough 12a and you have to divide it with this first term a. So you get a 12. So now this 12 will be written here. And then 12 into a is 12a and then 12 into minus 3 is minus 36 sorry this is not minus 3 this is 36 yeah now reverse the sign minus and this becomes plus gets cancelled gets cancelled so finally we have got that this cubic equation can be factorized as a minus 3 into a square plus 4a plus 12. now this a square plus 4a plus 12 we have got this equals to 0. so finally the same equation a cube plus a square minus 36 can be written as a minus 3 into a square plus 4a plus 12. Now the thing is this that okay we have got the equation we have factorized it from here very easily we get the answer 3. From here are we going to get some answer or not again depends you can find the determinant or you can do the completing the square method whatever you want. So this can be written as a plus 2 whole square plus 8. This this bracket can be written like this. Now very easily I'm able to find that this can't be zero. This bracket won't be zero at all for any real value of zero, uh, for any real value of a. So here obviously, if you have to get the roots, it, it's going to be complex. It's going to be a equals to minus two plus minus two root two iota, okay? So you have to just send this eight to the side and then do the uh, under root. In case if you are getting some difficulty, I'll just show you. a plus two whole square, and that is equals to minus eight. You have to take under root both sides so that you can remove the square a plus 2 is equals to under root 8 is 2 root 2 and since it's a negative so we'll have an iota now this 2 goes to that side so minus 2 and this will have a plus minus because we are uh, putting an under root so a equals to minus 2 plus minus 2 root 2 iota although this is complex root so now again depends on the question that in your examination or or in the in any olympiad examination or wherever you are going if they are asking only for real values a belongs to r then only one answer is there if they are asking that, okay, find the complex values, so these are the answers. If they are asking find the sum of all the values uh, or sum of all the roots, then also you can find it. So whatever you want. So finally, we have got A equals to 3 and hence that's the answer. So guys, I hope you loved and enjoyed the problem. And if that is the case, so I would like to give you one more problem as a challenge which you should solve and send me the answers. What do you say? So if, if you are ready, here is the problem. In this problem, what you have to do, you have to solve this question and write the answers in the comment box. If I get a lot of right answers, then I'm very, very happy. I'll be very happy to see all of you solving these challenging questions. And in case if you're not able to solve, 
just write down in the comment box that sir i am not able to solve it kindly help or kindly guide i will be very happy and uh, based on the responses given by you guys in the comment box i'll be bringing a solution video for this particular question in the next session okay so i hope you loved and enjoyed this video so if you if that is the case please write down in the comment box your valuable feedback do like the video and subscribe the channel for more such beautiful contents see you in the next video thank you